Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on Pythagoras and trigonometry revision. Before you watch this video, you should watch the Pythagoras maths cast and the trigonometry part one and trigonometry part two maths cast so that you are prepared to answer the questions here. So let's begin. We have three questions on the board, three right angle triangles, and our job now is to decide whether we're going to use Pythagoras or trigonometry to answer them. So let's take this first one here. We can see it's a right angle triangle, which is really important in both of the questions. Um, and we can also see that the angle in the corner here is 40. So when the question has an angle in, we're going to use trigonometry to answer it. Let's have a look at the second question. The second question, again, it has a right angle, but there's no other angle in the question. When there's no other angle, just a right angle, we use Pythagoras. And the third and final question, it's a right angle, so we can use Pythagoras or trigonometry, but we're looking for the angle, so there is an angle in the question. So when we're looking for the angle, or there is an angle in the question, we again use trigonometry. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through the answers to all three of these questions so that you can revise all of the different types. So let's begin with our Pythagoras question. Here we're given a right angle triangle with the side 5 and 2 and we're asked to find the missing side. So using what we've learned in previous maths casts, what we first need to do on a Pythagoras question is decide whether it is a plus or a takeaway. Well, this one will be a takeaway because we're looking for the shortest side. We're looking for a short side, not the long side. The long side is five, so we're not looking for the long one, so it's a takeaway question. We must square the sides, so five squared is 25, and the bottom one, two squared is four, and we take these two numbers away, as we've said in the question. So we do 25, take away four is 21. And then we must square root that 21 to get rid of the fact we've squared both of the numbers. And you can type this into a calculator and the answer is 4.6. So that's what the missing side is. So remember, with Pythagoras, the important thing to do is decide whether it's an add or a take away question. Um, and then square the sides and remember to square root it at the end. Okay, let's go through the next example. So trigonometry. So if you've watched a trigonometry part one maths cast, it tells you the most important thing to do is to label the sides. So the longest side is seven, and that's H, the hypotenuse. The side which is opposite the angle, so 40 is pointing at the X, so X here, that's O, the opposite. And then the one at the bottom, the one that's left, is called the adjacent, A. So the most important thing to do in a trigonometry question is to label the sides O, A, and H. Then what we do is we cross out the one which is on its own. So you can see A is on its own because H is with 7 and O is with X. So A is on its own, so we don't want A. So trigonometry, our important word, is Sokotoa. This tells us um, how to answer the question. So we're looking at this Sokotoa and we're trying to pick which one doesn't have an A in. Well, you can see that So doesn't have an A in. Both of the other two formulas have got an A in, so we're not going to use them. So what does So mean? Well, if you've watched the previous maths cast, you know that So is a triangle which is shown like this. And you have to now decide what we're looking for. Well, we're looking for O because that's where X is. So we're looking for O. So when you cover up O, you can see that O is S times H. So O equals S times H. And now we're going to substitute in the letters. So O is X. So X equals S stands for sin on a calculator and the angle, which is 40 remembering to put the 40 in brackets, times H, and it says here, H is 7. So times 7. 
And all we do now is we type that into a calculator. So we type in sin 40 times 7, which will give us the answer of 4.5. So the missing side is 4.5. Right, let's have a go at one more type of question. So this question's different because we're looking for the angle this time. But we do the same method as we used in the trigonometry part two video. So if you need more help, you can watch that video. So we're going to label the triangle. So the longest side is this one here, the one which has got nothing on. So that's H. The side the X is pointing at is the opposite the angle. So this one at the bottom is O. And the one that's left is A. Well, which letter are we going to cross out? We're going to cross out H because H is on its own. The A is with 6 and the O is with the 5. So which formula doesn't have a H in? Well, let's write down Sokotoa. Which formula doesn't have a H in? Well, this one's got a H in. Ka's got a H in, so it must be Toa. Toa doesn't have a H in. So we'll draw the formula triangle to help us. Toa. Right, this time we are looking for the angle. And we know the angle goes with the first letter. It goes with the T, which stands for tan. So cover it up. T equals O divided by A on our triangle. Now we write down what it stands for. It stands for tan X equals O, which is 5, divided by A, which is 6. And then we have to do a step on the calculator. We have to do, to get rid of the tan, we have to do tan minus 1. To do that on a calculator, you normally have to press shift and then tan. And then it's 5 divided by 6. And when you work this out on a calculator, pressing the shift before you press tan, 5 divided by 6, you'll get the answer of 39.8 degrees, which is our answer. So we've quite quickly gone through the three examples of the three different types of questions in Pythagoras and trigonometry. If you were stuck on any of those or need a recap, please remember to watch the Pythagoras maths cast or the trigonometry part one or part two maths cast. Here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Good luck.